Oof. Mm. Rome Research. I wanted to like you, but I just couldn't. So for those of you that don't know, I am a big Notion user and recently I did a live stream sharing my first impressions of Rome. Now, I did do a lot of research after that live stream, so I've probably got about 30 hours under my belt. Now I know a lot of Rome users have way more than that, but from my experience, I've also watched other people, other pro Rome users, and seeing how they use Rome, and it hasn't really changed my opinion. So in this video, what I want to do is go over my pros and cons of using Rome and Notion as a Notion user. Now the first thing that comes to mind when I see Rome and compare it to Notion is when you open up the page, it's pretty much the same. It's just a blank slate. The main difference comes when you look at all the things that you can do in Notion. So you can add icons, add banners, use gallery views, and you can add lots of different color to your page. In Rome, you can't. And in Rome, it is basically just a long list of stuff. Maybe you can add a query or an image or a video or something in there, but it is very, very minimal. It's just a list with bullet points and that's it. Now I know you can add themes and CSS into Rome to make it look better, to make it look a different way, but essentially all I can see anyway is it's just a list view that you can add colors to. And for me, I like to see more information on my page, like a dashboard, images, and different things. I'm not massively aesthetic, but I'm more aesthetic than Rome. Now that kind of brings me on to my first point when it comes to task management. Task management in Rome, yes, you can do it, and I've seen people do it. But the biggest thing for me was the fact that there is no calendar. And and task management, if there's no calendar, I can't see an overall view, an overarching view of what's going on. I know I can add queries in, but then I'm going down the page and I don't wanna go down the page to see what tasks I've got to do in the week, in the month or whatever's going on. I just want to have a calendar view and say, this is what I've got to do for this month. And what that calendar view allows me to do in Notion is I can drag the task and it will change the date. In Rome, from my understanding and from my experience and from what I've seen, you have to use the date picker and I don't like the date picker. <laughs> I made it fairly clear on the live stream. I don't like it because you have to go into every single task and change the date, which is just not fun. I'd much rather just drag, drop, drag, drop, drag, drop, and it's just quicker. Drag, drop, wow, English. And this was very similar when managing projects in Rome because you don't have a calendar view in Rome, working out when projects were due. Again, it's just this list list view and you can filter the list view using filters and queries and things like that, but you can't sort it. So it's a list of stuff and you, you're moving things around. It, it just wasn't as easy or as clean to see for me anyway when looking at my projects because I'd like to see it in a calendar view so I can see everything that's going on. And Another thing on top of that, in Notion, you can have different calendar views so you can filter the views for whatever projects in whatever area they're in. So for me, YouTube, blogging, Instagram, all the different social media platforms have different calendar views and you can have that in Rome, but they're list views, not calendar views. And it's just, I want the calendar view. And on top of that, for the project progress, I couldn't find a way or see a way to see how the progress was going in a specific project, or at least display it in a way that I felt comfortable. You can have essentially a list view of all the tasks you need to do for the project, but then you've either got to count how many tasks you've got left, or if you've got loads of tasks, you'll see all of them, not some of them, unless you add tags and things to them. You can't just have, from what I've seen, just a dot, which is what I have. I have a dot to say, this is how many tasks you've done, this is the percentage you've done, or a program or something visual, again, something to see, okay, this is how far I've done with this project. I couldn't see a progress bar in Rome. Maybe I was missing something. Let me know in the comments below. Now I can move on to note-taking and note-taking in Rome and Notion bare bones is basically the same thing. You have lists of stuff and you can write those lists. You can put images in, put screenshots in, tag whatever links you wanna go elsewhere. So the actual note taking itself is pretty much the same. You can tag notes in Rome, you can tag notes in Notion, you can relate big notes in Rome to other notes, and you can do the same in Notion. The main difference isn't the capturing of notes, even though Notion has a clipper, and I don't think Rome does. Notion's clipper is limited, but it's there. Rome, from what I've seen, doesn't have one. The main power with the note taking in Rome is you can then do all the bi-directional links afterwards. Now I'll go into more depth about my opinion on the bi-directional links later on in the video, but unless you're going to be using those bi-directional links, the note taking is exactly the same. The main difference for me is the aesthetic and the layout of a Notion page is much more flexible than Rome, because in Rome you have your lists and that's it. In Notion, you can have your lists, but then you can have columns, and then you can have pictures in one bit, pictures in another bit, links, you can put databases in there to have information from other things, 
all in a more condensed view because in Roman it's just that list. So you, there's white space at the sides. Yes, you can then bring up the tab, the sidebar, the right sidebar and use that. Normally that's another page from what I've seen. I mean, yes, it could be the same page and you can edit the same page twice, but essentially it's just one long list. It's just a long list of stuff. And I personally don't like scrolling. So I'd much rather have two columns and just bring the bottom of the list up to the top or sort them how I would want. That's my preference. And that brings up the point of the sidebar. Now the sidebar in Rome is definitely a really useful tool and that is something Rome definitely has over Notion. But for me, I don't find a use for it with what I do because I make videos. So I'm in that video project, I'm doing that video. Or I'm in a blog post and I'm doing that blog post. And when I'm referencing other things, I have another tap, I have another window up with Notion, with all of my notes on there because I've pre-planned it, I've done that already. So when I'm in the process of writing something, I already know what I'm going to write about. And if I do need to go elsewhere, I can go into the relation and then find whatever note I need. But having the sidebar up in Rome is definitely useful and is definitely a power feature of Rome Research. When it comes to relating the note to a task, a project, so maybe you've thought of an idea and that idea has turned into a video, you can link them in Rome and in Notion. The main difference and the main advantage I see with Notion over Rome is when you've made that note and you've made a project that's related to that in Notion, you can then add a template. And templates in Rome, you're either going to use a text expander, which you need to understand how to use and what to do and remember everything, or you need to have a page that you can copy and paste in the right sidebar into your your Rome page but like that's a click to get there then it's a copy and paste and go in and then when you're going to add the dates we go back to that date picker you then have to manually add the dates to all the things maybe you could do that with a text expander but still like I would want to change those dates and the ease of changing dates comes with the calendar view in Notion and the date picker doesn't have that whereas in Notion with the templates you can just push the button click drag drop and then drag things around and it's 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 much cleaner it's much easier to do with the templates and the calendar view in Notion, wow, forgot what app I was talking about, in Notion with the drag and drop, but that comes down to task project management after the notes. So linking, it's the same thing, Roman Notion, but after you've linked it, Notion takes a cake. Before I move on to bi-directional links, I do want to discuss reviewing information. So for those of you that don't know, I review pretty much everything in my Notion space. That's from areas to tasks to projects to notes. Everything is reviewed to some frequency, some of them more frequent than others. Some of them sort of sit in a notes database for months on end, but they do get reviewed at some point. Whereas in Rome, I see it very much as a, this is all your stuff, where are you going to review it? Unless you have a page that is linked or has an unlinked reference to it, you won't really see it again. And if that list of unlinked references or list linked references is really long, which if you're using Rome, it will be, then you need to know what you're filtering for. And that kind of makes, in my opinion, the unlisted links kind of null and void, because if you know what you're looking for, then you can just find it. So maybe those Rome users that do use Rome can tell me what you use the unlinked um, section for, because from what I've seen, no one really uses it, because they know what they're looking for, or they've made that unlinked reference, they've gone there whilst creating, whilst they're in that thought process. Um, so maybe you're a Rome user and you use it and let me know in the comments below how you use the unlinked reference because I just can't see a use for it for now. And then when we go to reviewing the information, I can't see a way to review certain information on different days unless you add a date picker to it. But then why would I want to do that? I would want to make that automatic, which in Notion you can do with formulas. So again, am I missing something? Now getting onto bi-directional links, this is a topic that obviously Rome does really well, Obsidian does really well, well, well. But from all the videos I've seen from pro Rome users, experienced Rome users, the bi-directional links are very good for granular information, not high up information. So when I was looking at Nat Elias, and I think is his name, uh, he was going through making a blog post, but he wasn't using the bi-directional links in the, in the notes in the page. He was using the tags and you can do that in Notion. And when he, ha when he did use the, the link to the page, he then went through the tag that it came up with. So I was like, you're mainly using the tags to go between pages, but there is definitely a use in the bi-directional links for creating pages that can be used. It's just, I don't see the use of the bi-directional link in Rome 
in my in my situation because I'm making a video, so I have the script of the video. I'm making a blog, and I have the blog, or I'm doing the tasks, I'm doing the projects, I'm making those notes in the page, and it's already related to the other high up resource. So the only use I see for bi-directional links is if you're going to get very, very granular with the information you want to see in your notes when you're referencing it wherever. But it has to be granular information and I feel like you have to be using Roam consistently to build up those links to make those links useful. Otherwise, you're just going to make a page that's got one or two links to it, which you kind of, well, in my head, you would already know. I guess that comes back to the unlinked uh, query page. So as a Notion biased Roam overview, I would say task management and project management stick to stick to Notion. <laughs> um, when it comes to note taking, if you're doing main big bulking note taking, I would stick with Notion unless you're going to need to reference all of those small granular pieces of information later on. Potentially in academics, that could be useful. I don't see how that would be useful for me with the way that I took notes in academics, but maybe that maybe we're just different in taking notes. Then when it comes to reviewing information, I think Notion again takes a cake because you have formulas and you can do that automatically. And also you can sort information in Notion, which you can't do in Rome from my understanding. And as a final point, because for some reason I didn't bring it up in the video, Notion is free, Rome is not. So for me, Rome's main powers are bi-directional links for granular information in note taking and the fact that you have a sidebar to look at different pages. But Notion basically beats Rome on everything else, in my opinion, but then I am biased. If you're interested to hear more about how I use Notion, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.